physio. I'm doing physio. Doing so physio. We, we do a bit of S&C yeah, stuff yeah. in there. So it's, Is there any of that you take in? Uh, the gym yeah. stuff, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we've just finished the first two years of our degree was basically in the gym, lifting weights and things <laughs> like learning how to lift weights and teach people. Um, so there's definitely a lot of that stuff and rehabbing certain injuries. So, you know, you take bits and pieces and, you know, you take bits with a grain of salt as mm. well because mm. <laughs> all the stuff you learn isn't isn't all necessary and applicable to netball. No, yeah, that's true. But there's, yeah, but there's, I think the big, the, kind of the biggest thing about uni, uni kind of gets a bad rap a lot of like sports science stuff because it's very hard to apply what you learn to the actual field if you're not doing like the prac side and then the theory side together but the biggest part of it is like it like it creates thinkers Definitely. that's about like and it's like being critical thinking to be able to analyze well this is the theory and this is what's actually happening in practice and be able to kind of pick the needle amongst the haystack and because all this theory is not really going to apply in a, in a practical setting but oh, being able to take the the idea of that and then be able to apply that into the setting is what's going to kind of make make it work oh that that's, makes sense that's yeah. exactly what i do i agree you, you we've been given certain programs to rehab someone you go mm. that's not really that's not someone's not going to be able to do that or they are they aren't you just have to be able to adapt and i think notre dame do a really good job with that like i love uni and things like that but it's mm. still it's really hard to try and still even now just not be, not having enough experience you st- i still find mm. it really hard to go oh change change things and be able to <laughs> <laughs> adapt it to certain people is a little bit tricky mm. still but so with your physio, are you out on practical at the moment? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, we just yeah. finished. I did a prac in January with the um, with an, at an aged care facility, so that was interesting. And then COVID shut that down again for the five days, so we right. ended up cutting that short. But it's um, it's been good to be able to put stuff into practice. But at the same time, you know, I'm doing prac at the moment at yes. East Freer, just getting extra, you know, knowledge in that musculoskeletal mm. because I did the aged care, but I didn't feel like I used all my skills that we've learned. You miss out, yeah, on a certain kind of demographic just yeah. with, with old. Definitely, but we will we'll get to we'll get to see all kind of physio um, yeah. modes in the end. But next year will be the big year with just prac after prac after prac, which is exciting. But you know, even through this injury, doing footy, you get mm-hmm. to see a range of injuries and how they rehab them, what they're doing. Um, so it's pretty interesting to be able to come to footy each week. As bad as it is, boys are getting injured all the time or just have little niggles. And it's you know, Jordan goes come in and have a watch and listen, and you just go ah, that's how you that's how you treat someone that's like that. Or mm-hmm. especially in a sporting setting where you go old people, you give them ten sit to stands, and that's about it. Whereas <laughs> the footy boys, it's like go and run. Yeah, just a bit more. You have to kind of push them along a bit more because the funny thing is that most people forget that like, these guys are like I don't know like performance like like you want to take 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 away like the the human aspect of it. these guys are like machines like they are essentially they're just workhorses and they need yep. to keep doing work as soon as they stop that is kind of break down like, and you just you lose fitness so quickly i found oh yeah your body wants to like you maintain home homeostasis if you don't want to if you don't do something your body just adapts to not doing anything yeah that's if you, they're doing a lot of things all the time and then making them not do a lot they're just kind of oh, and then the body just is like okay, we're not using this anymore let's shut it down oh and it's i mean trying to adapt i've always i've found since having this period off of sport it's getting back into the sport based kind of stuff so doing your running around footy is so different to being able to Mm. run like you could tell someone to go and run for one minutes flat out but then when you do for one minute kind of base sporting base kind of drills i find especially netball it's just such a big difference to be able to adapt to yes running just straight running but then having to focus on reading the black reading the play adapting your style shorter sharper running is so 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 much different yeah, so there's that's that the, kind of yeah that's the hardest thing amongst like that's the the blend between the like strength conditioning and then the, the field coaches is that making it one connected like you want to make it a conditioning kind of set but let's do it amongst skill-based mm-hmm. uh, football drills so then it kind of blends in blends into um like you get a fitness component and then you get your skills and it's like fitness and conditioning yeah. Um, and, and skills all on the one mm-hmm. kind of drill. I'm sure most people hate the... ball conditioning. At netball, you hate, everyone hates ball conditioning. You can do conditioning and then someone brings in a ball and you go, let's <laughs> either do conditioning or let's do ball work. Because yeah. it's just, there's a huge difference between the two. But mm. it's, you know, I can't wait to get back into that. So hopefully, hopefully next week. See you back. Yeah. So tell us about, tell us about your 